scroll up a little, the bottom one, um, number six, M marriage mediation agreements. Oh my um, great. God. So that's a great article Are for you guys to read to learn a little bit more about ma marriage mediation from a lawyer's perspective. What? So this is something that I think guys need to do. So what happens is before you get married, you find that oh you get a marriage God. mediator. And, I, and oh my depending God. on the state's different laws. And what she will do is she'll sit, she'll sit you down mm -hmm. and walk through every detail of marriage, how much money you, you're planning on making, um, what, what um, responsibilities each person is going to have. And then through the mediation, then the mediator will work with the lawyer to co coin the prenup. But this is very important because it identifies what you expect out of that marriage. So these are <laughs> additional ways of man can protect himself by oh making sure that if you're God. marrying a woman you guys you and her are crystal clear you know in regards to what you expect and then if you want to go ahead and go through the 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 do the premarital agreement aka the prenup there's mm -hmm. other things you can do as well as well as if you want to protect yourself from alimony there's things that you do as well all these resources we give to our guys in the community we're constantly giving all these tools all this information for uh -huh. them to win the most in life This man little, literally just said, negotiate your marriage. I expect sex three times a week. You think a woman is going to stick with that? No. Nope. Of course not. This is like, this is ridiculous. This is, st th this is terrible advice. This man thinks that you're going to protect yourself with marriage mediation, premarital counseling, and a prenup. And by the way, prenups are routinely thrown out of court. There are law offices dedicated to getting prenuptial agreements overturned in court. And yeah, uh, Mr. C-73 says, such a disservice that TLA wasn't invited to this segment. Dude, this is why he didn't want TLA there. This is why he didn't want TLA there. Because TLA, would have he would have sliced and diced this all up. Did you get a prenup? No, I didn't. <gasps> Did you get a prenup? No I didn't. Wow. Why? Um, because in in, in my personal because you'd recommend the guy to get the prenup. Everyone is different. Okay, I was I'm not going to force anybody to do it. Some people okay. believe it. Some people don't. Wait, I personally, what? I personally, me personally, mm -hmm. this is how thesis is personal. This is not God's. Mm -hmm. This is not my best advice for men today. I personally believe for my wife, the 50-50 makes sense for my wife. What? It makes sense to me. Oh. So would you be willing to say that you're the exception, not the rule? A hundred percent. Oh, and I, my God. Are, and, I, and I can say I would never, I, want clear, I, it, I would never advise anyone to do what I'm doing. The oh, my God. This nigga thinks he is the exception and not the rule. This nigga really thinks that he, no, no, Hafiz, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. This is real bad. Yep, you guys nailed it. His wife said no. His wife said no to the prenup. His wife said, I'm not marrying you until I get 50-50. This, dude, this nigga is a whole bitch, y'all. Jay Blaze says he follows his wife's orders. Dude, his wife runs that relationship. His wife runs that relationship. He converted his religion for her. She wouldn't sign a prenup. So she's going to get 50-50. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to be, oh, my God. This is going to be bad. I'm starting to feel bad now because this dude is going to get blindsided. Are you kidding me? So do as I say, not as I do? Is that is that what it is? Do as I say, not as I do. I tell you guys you need to train your woman. Well, Donovan, did you train yours? No, but I'm the exception to the rule. How stupid does that sound? I teach men to do something that I'm not doing myself. That, to me, sounds hypocritical. Am I wrong? If you're advising men to get married and to go through all of this marital counseling and to get a prenup, but you haven't done it, that makes you a hypocrite. Am I wrong? Blackest Panther with the $5 Super Chat says, Genuine question, how many times do you think he's had to sleep on the couch? Jesus Christ, God only knows. Super Duba with the $2 Super Chat says, Get him out of here. Dude, he is, like, dude, this is really bad. This is really bad. And you want to know what? Pearl is the one. Pearl is the one. 
She applies the, she applies just, just gentle pressure here and there. She's the velvet hammer. Wait, I, I just wanna I just wanna make sure. So you would advise men to get married, even though and, and get a prenup, even though you do you have a prenup? And he said no. She got him. She got him right there. This is unbelievable. This is my personal conviction. Okay. These are things that what I prayed it, about. What if, what if it ended up that you would just, it was less than 50-50? Like, like money? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the secret, Pearl. No, so, so I'm just Go like, ahead. say, say, and I, I don't wish this on you, so don't, you know. But in 10 years, mm -hmm. right? It, and it's not 50-50. She takes 70, 80 percent. Let's do 99. Okay. Let's go freaking 99. 99. Let's say she takes 99 percent of the money. Know what I have, Adam? This. What's really interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gonna take a per gonna take a precaution here. Just stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. This is a precaution. Let me just <clears throat> let me just clean out just clean out any any earwax buildup. That I happen to, that I happen to have in my ears. Make sure my spectacles. Make sure my glasses are good to go. Testing, 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 testing. So I'm hearing properly. Let me just rewind that. Just to make sure I heard what I thought I heard. Okay. These things that what, I if prayed it, about? what if what if it ended up that you would just, it was less than 50 50 like, like money mm -hmm. let me tell you the secret pro no, so so i'm just go like, ahead say say and I, I don't wish this on you so don't you know but in 10 years mm -hmm. right it, and it's not 50 50 mm -hmm. she takes 70 80 percent let's do 99 okay let's go freaking 99 let's say she takes 99 percent of the money know what i have adam this what's really interesting ay 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 Oh boy. Oh boy. Houston, we have a problem. We have a major, major problem. Hafiz's whole contention with the Red Pill community is that all we do is complain but not offer solutions. That's fair. That's fair. Most red pill channels, a lot of black pill channels, all they do is complain. I get it. I understand where he's coming from. I understand where he's coming from. And so, Pearl asks a series of questions in such a way that requires him to give the kind of solutions that he wants the red pill community to give to people. Okay. He says you can lower your rate of divorce by making a lot of money and finding you a good Christian woman. I beg to differ on that, but just let's let's just assume there's some credibility to that. Pearl then asks him, okay, so be a Christian man of high value, marry Christian woman, and that lowers your rate of divorce. Okay. Well, then there, then, then there's the prenup. As long as you protect yourself, that's what he endorses. So he says marital counseling and the prenup. She asks, do you, do you have a prenup? Hafiz says, no. No, I don't. So Pearl asks a logical question. Well, I know you're the exception to the rule, Hafiz, and that your wife would never dream of taking to the cleaners, but for the sake of argument, let's just say that you're wrong about that. 
let's just say for the sake of argument, in some bizarro world in the sixth dimension, let's just let, you know, the half percent chance that your wife might might take you to the cleaners. And takes 70, 80%. This nigga said, let's go 99. I got this. What the fuck kind of advice is that? Don't worry, good Christian men who make a lot of money. If you don't if you don't sign a prenup or if the judge throws the prenup out, that's all right. You still have you still have this. Gentlemen, if you haven't learned anything at all today, if you haven't learned anything, what you need to understand is that men like this are dangerous. Men like this are dangerous. No, I'm not saying that marriages, successful marriages, are impossible to accomplish in America. I'm not saying that. But they damn near are. They damn near are. Women are incentivized to blow up their marriages. They're given cash and prizes. They are paid to leave. This is what Pearl says. But this dude would have you ignore all of the empirical data, all of the stories, everything we know about the divorce court and family court. And this dude says, hey, no problem. If it all goes up in smoke and she ends up with everything, you've still got this. Like, that's it, man. That's it. Any, and I haven't read the comments on this yet. I try not to because I don't want to get any spoilers. But anybody who, anybody in the comments section who said, Pearl took an L, Hafiz got the W, you niggas are blind. You niggas are blind. This nigga just sat here and said with a straight face that if his wife took him for everything he had, well, 99% to be exact, he'd be all right because he still has this. Gabity with the $5 Super Chat says, uh, since he got all that mental stuff, he can wire me 99% of his assets and I'll take it. Right. Shoot. Since he still got his mind, right? What the fuck is that? Oh, my God.